Right, uh, we have come to this uh, section where uh, we will guide you how to add representative uh, for your My Invoice Portal. So this is an optional step, okay? You are the director, this is the optional step. So sometimes director might not have the time to, you know, handle all these uh, administrative stuff in My Invoice Portal and probably you are owning a big company and you have your own financing to overlook all these processes for you. So you might want to add a certain uh, person in charge to represent you and log in into the My Invoice Portal to, you know, to check out everything, okay? So, uh, of course, this one applies on situation. So, it's an optional step. So, to do this, uh, again, we log in back to our My Invoice uh, Text Portal, okay? So, uh, first of all, after you log in, remember to switch the role selection to your company, okay? So, after you switch, make sure uh, every you are the director of the company, yeah? Okay, only the director is able to add this representative for your company, okay? So, uh, not non other as long as you are not the director, you cannot do this. So, once you already done uh, switching this role, okay? On the top right, click on the small human icon. Then click at the appointment of representative. Click on the... Uh, ID type IC number, okay, identification card number, and number four, you key in that person that you want to add as representative, representative that person IC number over here. So, for example, uh, this one, my director, Mr. Uh, Alex Mbuntai, uh, would like to add me, Ong Jason, as the representative of the company. So, he will be keying my IC number over here, and my information uh, will appear below here. So you will see my name, my IC number, my email. So of course, this person must register himself at the uh, My Text Portal first. At least this person can log into My Text Portal first. All right. Uh, to say that this person exists. Okay. So once already key uh, the IC number, click on the submit button. Okay. And you will need to key in your password to double confirm this. Uh, action, click on the signature and a success message will appear. So just click OK. So moving to me, my login just now was more was my director's login. Now when I log in, you can see from here on Jason, this is me, individual login. When I click on the role selection, there is a director representative. So you can see uh, I am representing TM Century as well. Uh, so this is how you can add a person to represent your company so that that person can uh, take charge, take in charge of uh, things that is matter for your uh, e-invoice and also your company tax. Okay, so that's all for this uh, adding representative.